I welcome you all to the lecture series of Digital Electronics. Digital Electronics is a field of electronics involving the study of digital signals and the engineering of devices which are being used to produce digital signals. Digital electronic circuits are usually made from large assemblies of logic gates. These logic gates are often packaged in the form of integrated circuits. Basically, it has two conditions, 0 and 1. 0 represents low logic and 1 represents high logic. In terms of voltage, 0 equals 0 voltage and 1 equals plus 5 voltage. Before getting deeper into this topic, let us have a quick recap on signal. Signal is a function that represents variation of physical quantity with respect to any parameter. These are the types of signals analog, discrete and digital. In terms of digital electronics, signal is nothing but the change in current and voltage with respect to time. This diagram shows the representation of analog signal, digital signal and discrete signal. Let me explain these signals with few more examples. The example for analog signal is a video signal or an audio signal. As we know, the video signal or an audio signal is a continuous one, which means at all instances of time, we could receive the amplitude values as the signal is a continuous one. That is why, see the uh, thing be mentioned below in this diagram, the amplitude is continuous and the time is also a continuous one. This is in case of analog signal. Then the example for discrete signal is uh, cricket highlights. Okay, See in the cricket highlights, you could see few events. Okay, at a particular time inter interval, you could see the particular clippings. Okay, but on seeing the highlights itself, you could uh, get an overall idea about that cricket event. Okay, so that is why here it is mentioned that the amplitude is continuous and the time is discrete. Okay, because at this particular instance of time, you could receive this particular value only, but overall the video is the continuous one okay that is why it is mentioned that the amplitude is continuous and the time is discrete here okay and the example for digital signal is your photographs okay which means at this particular time you could get this particular amplitude value Okay, so this is just like your photographs. That is why it is mentioned that the amplitude is discrete and the time is also a discrete one. Here in time, okay, in x-axis and y-axis, you could uh, get only the integer values. That is the discrete values. Okay, that is why in case of digital signal, it is mentioned that the amplitude is discrete and the time is also a discrete one. Okay. So why because I am explaining um, discrete signal over here is you should be knowing that the digital signal is being derived from this discrete signal. Okay. See this particular time interval you could get the this particular value. Okay. So by making this more short you could receive this particular discrete value. Okay, that is why we are deriving this uh, digital signal from this discrete one. Okay, so this is the uh, previous stage of this digital signal. That is why we are uh, getting more uh, information about this discrete signal in this video. Here we could see the difference between analog and digital signals. An analog signal is a continuous signal and digital signals are time separated signals. Analog is represented by a sine wave and Digital is denoted by using a square wave. Analog signal uses a continuous range of values that help you represent information. Digital signal uses only zeros and ones to represent the information. Temperature sensors, FM radio signals, photo cells, light sensor, resistive touch screen are the examples of analog signals. Computers, CDs, DVDs are the examples of digital signal. The analog signal bandwidth is low and digital signal bandwidth is high. 
and analog signals are easily damaged by noise throughout the transmission as well as in the read write process whereas a digital system is a noise immune system without deterioration during the transmission process as well as read write cycle analog hardware never offers flexible implementation whereas digital hardware is always flexible in implementation analog is uh, suited for audio and video transmission as i said earlier and digital is suited for computing and digital electronics here in analog processing can be done in real time and in digital it cannot always give a real time experience see analog instruments are always prone to observational errors and digital instruments never cause any kind of observational errors this diagram shows the typical transmission and reception with the help of a digital system here the main concept is i am going to give an analog input to the digital system and i am going to receive an analog output here for example i am using a mic for speaking okay so my voice signal is an analog input to this digital system i am taking pen so this is the my voice is the input to this digital system when an analog input is being fed into the digital system it has to be first converted into its digital form that is why we can uh, feed the signal into this digital system so i am using this adc that means analog to digital converter and my voice signal is now converted into zeros and ones okay and this signal is now being uh, fed into this digital system and here uh, if the voice is uh, has to be little louder then we can make changes within this digital system okay so after amplifying my signal the signal will be like this okay so this is after amplification the signal will be like this and now i'm uh, i have to receive an analog output as i said uh, earlier in this example i am speaking with the help of a mic and input signal is my voice so at the output side that means the receiver side it has to be it has to be the same thing it can be little bit uh, louder okay so that is acceptable but a computer voice or some other noises that are not acceptable at the receiver side so the same digital output from this uh, digital system has to be fed okay into this dac that means digital to analog converter that means this digital signal has to be again converted into the analog signal okay that is why we can receive an analog input at the receiver side here loud speaker is the receiver okay that is why i am using dac and after converting it into the analog signal the same voice signal can be received at the output side switch is a main concept we should be knowing in case of digital electronics it represents quantity here on represents 1 and off represents 0 so number of switches should be equal to the number of bits we are using bit is a smallest unit of data one nibble is equal to 4 bits and one byte equals 8 bits one word equals 16 bits and one double word equals 32 bits this is all about digital electronics thank you guys